And uh, it's all yours, girls. Great. Thank you. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Desiree. Um, I'm one of the sales reps. I work with Florida and um, New, uh, Massachusetts now, actually, but originally New England. Um, and I actually live in Massachusetts. So I don't have a favorite football team, um, but I do like soccer. So I don't know, football, both the same kind of thing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll start by sharing my screen here and kind of walk you through what Invisible Body has to offer. Um, and then I'll give you a demonstration of our content and our courseware platform as well. Um, so let me just share my screen here. Oh, that's the wrong thing. That's the wrong button. There we go. Okay. Uh, technical issues right away. Sorry about that. Can you see my screen okay? Am I sharing the right screen with everyone? Okay, good. Awesome. Okay. Um, if I get glitchy, just let me know. I'll turn my camera off. Um, so this is Visible Body. So we've expanded a lot in the past couple of years. Um, we originally started mostly with anatomy and physiology content, but last October we launched biology. So we create 3D interactive and accessible models for A and P and bio. Um, I just wanted to play a quick video for you. Kind of gives you an overview of all of our content. So I turned off my camera because my internet seems to be a little laggy right now. What makes courseware so um, okay. popular with instructors, students, and administrators? Here are five things that... All right, so um, let me go back here. All right, so that was just a quick overview um, so you can kind of get a glimpse of the stuff that we have here at Visible Body. Um, but we are used by over a million customers and we do have seven different languages. Um, the languages are accessible in our app, so it's easy to switch between um, your language or to your language so that you can learn anatomy um, in the language you speak. Um, and so all of our content is, um, you know, accessed over you know, 8,500 times a day. Um, we're adopted at over 650 schools and universities. So we are widespread throughout the world. Um, a lot of our users are in the United States, but we do have other countries as well. Australia, we have UK, um, and a few other teams that I'm not thinking of at the moment. Um, and we did a little efficacy study just to see how much Visible Body helps students. And it was a really awesome result that we found. Um, so just down here, you can see Dr. Cindy Harley of Metropolitan State University. She did a study and she found that after her students started using Visible Body, her DFW rate dropped to 19.2%, which is really kind of incredible. Um, she saw a huge increase and A's and B's as well. Um, it seemed to really improve students by a letter grade. Um, we also took a good sample size of students and we asked them how visible body affected their learning too. Uh, they found that it really helped them 
Um, they really like to learn anatomy by manipulating 3D models. Um, physiology concepts are very concise in all of our animations, so it's quick and easy to learn. It keeps them engaged, and you can really um, narrow down and like specify the anatomy that you're learning with our customizable, customizability features. So I'm going to switch now to my Courseware page and give you a quick demo um, of our platform. So this is the My Apps page here in Courseware. So Courseware is accessible both on the web and on your mobile devices. So if you come to this My Apps page in a Courseware in our Courseware platform, you can launch our apps right here, and it will load the app for you in a new tab um, here on your PC. And just to give you a quick overview of what Courseware is, Courseware is our learning management system. So you, so you can create um, courses, assignments. We have a question bank and a quiz bank as well. So we have graded quizzes. We have lab activities too. Um, you can make flashcards. You can make your own 3D presentations and assign them in Courseware. So this, the sky is really the limit with the content creation here in our learning management system. Um, we also have biology as well, so uh, there are some topics in here such as genetics, we do have some blood cell slides, and if you have a friend or you know somebody who might be teaching general biology or bio to ninth and 10th grade students, um, it's really, really great content for them there, um, and we explore other concepts like photosynthesis and things like that. Our anatomy and physiology app. Um, this is our textbook like app. So uh, it goes through our anatomy and physiology in chapters and units. It's a guided way for students to dive into anatomy. Our animations for physiology are embedded throughout the system. So students kind of run into an animation as they're studying that chapter. Um, we do have practice quizzes available as well. And these models are interactive. We also have histology slides within this app. Our physiology and pathology app has our damage. I got a quick. I got a quick question. Um, oh, sure. Will all any student be in the students will be able to log in and use these apps? Yes. Yep. So I'll, I'm definitely going to dive into that a little bit more. Nope. Um, and students will wait. get access to everything. Yep. No, everything. Sorry for getting ahead. I'll wait. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. So um, students will be able to access everything that you see here um, and the great thing about it that is, um, is that instructor access is free. So the instructors get to access courseware um, and the students do too, but instructors don't have to pay. So it's really, really nice. Um, so our physiology pathology has a beating heart. We have some damaged anatomy in there as well. A muscle premium app. Um, this has our musculoskeletal system in it and we have physiology animations too. And if you scroll all the way down here to the bottom, um, this app here and this app here are, um, if you download those to your mobile device, the students get to keep those as long as they have the device. So it's a really nice takeaway. Okay, hopefully maybe my camera will work now. So um, any questions about any of the apps that I've mentioned? Okay, great. So what I'm going to do is gonna dive into some of the anatomy. Um, and just show you the, the um, models that we have. I'm gonna switch to my iPad here, so I have a feature that I would like to show you. Um, so in Courseware, you can pull content from any of the apps that I just showed you and link up a view in an assignment so that you can identify the section or the view that you want your students to um, explore. <clears throat> so, um, this is my iPad. So this is Human Anatomy Atlas. This is the mobile version of Human Anatomy Atlas. It's the same as the web version. Um, but uh, like Beverly asked, the students would be able to download this to their mobile device. And once they have it on their phone, they don't need internet access. So they can study out in the woods if they want. Hopefully they're not doing that. But like they can study anywhere. They don't need um, Wi-Fi. So um, we have all the systems in the human body. And this is why it's great. We, um, we meet the first niche uh, standard because we cover all of the systems in the human body. So you can dive in and explore um, all the structures in here because all the models are live. So if I select any one of these pre-made structures, I can rotate the model, I can move the model, I can zoom in and out. And if I select a structure, it gives me the name of the structure in the top right. I also get a definition for that structure. 
associated pathologies as well. So here's part of that um, first standard in the, um, that I was mentioning. The pathologies also have definitions and there are, um, some of them have side effects. Some of them have, um, or excuse me, symptoms. Some of them have risk factors. And you can remove any of the structures within this view. So everything's customizable. If there's a hide button right here, so if I select a structure and I click hide, it will remove that structure. But there's also a dissect tool right down here on the bottom. And if I click on that, it will turn on my knife so I can quickly tap away and remove structures so I can go from superficial to deep really easily. Um, I can add a tag if I want to highlight or label a structure to refer to later. I could add in any structure at any time. So using my anatomy search, I can add in a muscle. I can um, add in a whole system if I want to. And I can save my view. So as you see, I'm like customizing this view. Um, I want to be able to save it for later. So students and instructors can save their view in 3D. I'll just name my view. And if I go back to the main menu, the My Library tab holds all of my views. So here's the view right here in the top right hand corner that I just created. But as you can see, I have a library of views here so I can refer to any of them at any time. So as a teacher, I can come in here and I can use my draw tool, which you can see here, I've drawn the circle around the, um, the shoulder and it, the drawing moves with the model. Um, I can add notes in here if I wanted to add something about a physiology or a pathology. Um, and I've added a tag here and I can save this view and use it in my presentation, in my lecture, um, or I can actually assign this saved view in Courseware. <clears throat> So just wanted to show you a little bit more about the tours that we have, which is like a 3D presentation. So I have this massive um, favorites bucket here. And if I go to tours, I can make a compilation of any of my favorite views that I've created and put them in order to tell a story or to make a presentation. So for example, here, um, so I created this nutrition tour, and this is going to be, can be an ideal assignment. Um, so if you gave your students the assignment of, I want you to talk about the different stages of digestion, they can come in here and they can create views, save them, and then put them in a tour where it kind of brings you through that process of whatever the topic is that you're covering. You can also do this for lectures, but now we're going, so if I go back to my First view here, maybe you talk about oral digestion. You can use the arrows, flip through to the next section. Now you've got, now maybe you're talking about mastication. Here's a muscle action for mandible elevation. I use my arrows. I can flip through to the next slide. Maybe we talk a little bit more about the oral cavity. When we move down, we can talk about, you know, peristalsis, et cetera, et cetera. So you can go through the whole system using this core feature. Um, one other really great um, feature about this mobile app is getting, you can, there's a tool in here that really helps your students get up, moving and engaged. And it can really help them visualize anatomy in a person. So um, I can put any model into augmented reality, but I'll just use this one for an example. So if you notice down here on the bottom left, there's this little AR button. And if I click on that, it's going to look for a surface on my floor here. The lighting with this window always gives me some trouble, but. I should probably shut that window so we can see better. All right, I'll put them right here on my desk because this one has to do it. There we go. So I can put this model right here. I can plant him anywhere. I would just need to get up because my, my floors are so, so shiny clean that it, it can't pick up a surface. Just kidding. Um, but if you, you can move this model around, I can move my iPad in and out and I can still, I still have all my selectability features. So if I select a structure, I can learn about this structure. Maybe I wanna learn about the humerus. So I can click on this multicolored pelvis here 
and it will um, isolate the bone for me. And you can do this outside of AR too, but um, I can select different parts of the bone. It will tell me the bony landmarks. I can put on the muscle attachments. And if I click on the pin, it will add on the muscle for me. So this is, this is that part where students were able, they really liked it because they were able to really hone in on certain aspects of anatomy. Um, the other great thing that you can do with this is like you can do um, superimposing activity. So here's my hand here. If I had someone stand back there, I can scale the model to their size. And you can put the model over somebody. So somebody who might be um, taking classes to become a nurse. Um, and you're talking about examination, you can put the stomach over someone. If you're trying to learn where to palpate certain quadrants, you can put the lungs on someone. If you wanna learn where to put the stethoscope um, to listen to different lobes, as well as different chambers of the heart. If you are doing something that's more musculoskeletal, you can put a, micro, uh, a muscle action model over someone and do a fun activity like this, where someone's moving with the um, model as well. And it's just a, it's a fun game. Um, we have a professor who does this with his labs and he splits his teams up, his, his lab up into groups. And then they compete as teams to see who can get the best um, a little video like this with the um, animation and whoever wins gets a bonus point or whatever, it, whatever his prize is. Um, for things like athletic training, this can also be beneficial if you're learning how to tape an ankle. You need to know which direction to put the tape so you reinforce the ligaments. This can kind of help with the student's visualization. It's great for radiology um, and some ultrasounds too. Ultrasound uh, courses also like to use this because they can kind of get a visual for um, what's behind the skin. Um, and the last feature that I'll spend show you here is our flashcards feature. So students can create 3D flashcards. Um, if they can use any view, and if they start on the front, they can add labels. Uh, let's see if I label one here. I could have zoomed in too if I wanted to. Um, and then if I flip to the back, we have an auto label feature. So this, the app will automatically label whatever structure the little dot is over, or you can double tap and edit the name yourself. So students can create these, you can create these and assign them in Courseware. I'll, sh I'll show you that in a second. Um, and then they can test themselves. We also have um, flashcards that you can download off of our website as well. Um, and students can share them with each other so they can study in groups. And I'm gonna pause there for some questions because I noticed that in the chat. Um, we have a few. You know, so there were um, several questions, but a lot of them were related to um, support and training. Okay. Um, and what one was, what do the apps work on again? And um, I just answered that uh, the ones that you were looking at, they all work on the web and um, they have mobile versions with the exception of biology. Um, courseware itself doesn't work on the web, but all of the apps, the content apps that are associated with it, all are mobile uh, versions except for biology at this point. And somebody asked if there was a, a possibility of if someone got a new phone, could they get the a new download? And I think if they contacted support um, for the legacy apps, that might be a possibility, but uh, definitely true for Human Anatomy Atlas, which is our cross-platform app that we have now, that is like our flagship app that has all these amazing assets that we've been looking at right now. Um, that can be downloaded multiple times. So um, there's no worry there. Uh, there's a question. question that it was free for instructors and how do we access it? I have a hard time um, learning how to do all this different stuff. Cause I mean, I know it's just one, you know, little demonstration you give me, but it's been a lot to kind of like follow and keep up. So do they rate the difficulty of learning to do it as high? not um so i'm not sure if we've rated the level of difficulty but 
Jennifer is one of our customer engagement reps and she's fantastic. I mean, she will sit through with you and walk you through courseware. She'll walk you through Atlas. And I know that it's, it, there's a lot of information here and um, I just want to show you as much as I can, the small amount of time. So I do apologize if I move quickly, but it, the learning curve, uh, I'm not the greatest with technology and this app is just kind of second nature at this point, but it was really quick and easy for me to learn at the beginning too. Um, so I wouldn't, it might be intimidating at first, but we, you definitely are supported by your, your rep um, and the customer engagement team for sure. So don't worry about any of that. And once you get it, it, you know, you get it and um, you, you can always reach out to us for any other questions too. We're always hey, here for you. This, this is Nancy and a question for Jennifer. I see that John is asking about the um, free opportunity for instructors. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that goes along if you purchase it for your students. Is that the way that works? Yes. Yep. So we can send you a free trial. Um, so when I'll switch my screen back to Courseware, but you'll get a free, if you um, reach out, we can have our reps reach out to you as well, but you'll get a free Courseware trial here. So you can explore all of our content as well as the courses that we have available. You can try making a course. And then when your students, um, when you have a student subscription, whether the students pay um, or the institution pays, um, the instructor access is free. Okay, maybe I was late or something. How much is it? I didn't hear about the subscription cost. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we haven't gone over the pricing. The pricing. Okay, I'm, a, I'm okay. I just want to yep. make sure I can wait on it. I can yeah, wait. No, no worries. So the um, cost of courseware is dependent on however how you decide to purchase. Um, your rep can definitely talk to you about that. Um, it's $49.99 per student when the student pays. That's the most that you'll ever see for courseware um, for a one year subscription. And then for K-12, we offer discounts and those start at um, $40 per student. But a lot of times um, you see schools paying between $25 and $35 per student. And that includes everything that includes um, if you have an integration that we can set up for you. Uh, um, and it includes training and ongoing support and all that stuff. Is, it, um, is there a limit to how many students have to um, buy the subscription in order for the teacher to get the free um, thing? Yeah. Yep. So there, there is a $750 minimum purchase requirement. So um, that, that ends up to be around like, ends up being around 16 students. Um, but we do have smaller classes like that as well. So I would just take that up with your rep and they can help you sort that out. And the seven hundred. I just want to clarify: the seven hundred and fifty dollars purchase requirement is for um, institutional purchases. So that's just a process, an order, and send out an invoice and things like that. But um, your personal rep can definitely get into the details with you. Um, any other questions right now before I jump into courseware? Awesome. Great, thank you. Thanks, Jen, for monitoring the chat too. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so this is courseware. This is the courses side of it. Um, and so as you notice in here, I do have some pre-made courses. And so we have textbook correlated courses, and I'll just show you this quick one as an example, um, where if you do have a textbook that you'd like to use uh, with courseware or in lieu of courseware, because we do have schools to do that as well, um, we can check our database you can also look online. We do have some available on our website. Um, but what we do is we take the, um, the index of the textbook and then we create a course that matches that. We present our material in the same order as the textbook. So students can use it side by side. Um, if you do want to upload some of your own content, there is the option to do that as well. So we have a documents um, uploading option and you can upload YouTube videos or links or anything like that. We are also a five-star partner with OpenStax. So OpenStax, in case you're unaware, um, is a free resource. It's an online textbook. They have bio and anatomy and physiology, and they have, I'm sure they have others as well. Um, but we do link out to them too. So if you wanted to use OpenStax courseware, you can do that as well. 
Um, so this is just an example of how a course would be set up. So um, we have folders in here, and then we have pre-made assignments. And within those assignments, um, you can link up any one of the views within our apps here. So this is linked out to our anatomy and physiology app. And if I click on the link, it's going to bring me to that section in the app. So here is where, as a professor, if you want to hone in on certain um, models or animations, you can do that here and specify those areas to your students. Um, I want to go back really quickly to one of the courses. So this course that I'm going to show you here is kind of it's a starter course. Um, and our customer engagement team did a great job. They created this course to really um, get you started with Visible Body, and it, there's a lot of activities there that are helpful. So um, there are learning modules, which are kind of like reading activities. So if your students read something in a textbook, they can then jump over here into the A&P app and start exploring our content. So they go from 2D to 3D with some views linked up here. Um, we have anatomy ID activities as well. So uh, they can they they might get a list of structures. You can edit any of this content too. There's a little edit button down here. You can add in your own structures, link up your own views. Also, you can link up your customized views and tours that I can, like I mentioned. Um, and the students can come in here and identify structures. Um, we also have flashcards as well. So this is where you can link up a flashcard deck that you've made, maybe one that we've you've pulled off offline. Maybe you want them to create a flashcard deck and send that back to you for grading. That's also an option too. <clears throat> um, and we also have quizzes. So we have graded quizzes. Um, so if students click come in here and they click on this link, it will open up uh, a quiz for them. And we have a few different kinds of quizzes. So I'm going to hop over here to the question bank and the quiz bank on the left. So our question bank, um, we have tons of questions already made for you. You can edit any of them. You can also create your own question. You can filter through by visible body. And if you're working with other teachers at your school, you can also share questions and quizzes. Um, and you can filter through by question type too. So we have multiple choice, short answer, and dissection. Our multiple choice and our uh, dissection quizzes are auto graded, so less work for you. Um, and what a dissection question looks like is the students will get a prompt and then they'll get an image as well. Um, and they'll have to come in here. And this is actually a 3D model that they can interact with and select the correct structure to then um, answer the question. Our quiz bank here too is loaded up with quizzes already made for you. You can edit any of them by adding or removing quiz questions and you can also create your own quiz. Um, any questions about any of that courseware assignments, quizzing? I'll check the chat too. There was a question about putting links into Schoology um, mm -hmm. as an assignment. And I said, yes, indeed, you can do that. But there's also integrations that we have. Um, and I described a few. Um, Probably our most sophisticated one is with Canvas, where the gradebooks and the assignments all sync, as well as having a single sign-on. Blackboard has a single sign-on. Um, we can also do this. We have had some schools um, take this URL. So if this is an assignment in Courseware, you can just copy this URL and paste it right into a Schoology assignment too. So that'll bring the students directly to this page as well. So they would bypass the whole course and bring them right here. So that is an option too. Um, and Jen mentioned the gradebook um, CSV. So when your students take a um, when the students take a quiz, their grades will automatically show up here. And then there's this little action button down here where you can download a CSV. Um, if you don't have any of these, you can just download standard CSV and then it'll create a file that you can then import into your LMS uh, and then you're ready to populate in there. Another question was working with, with Google Classroom and PowerSchool. So I think um, maybe it's important to distinguish that Google is a 
Google single sign-on is what we're offering. Um, that's not an integration per se, but it does eliminate the step of students having to create a brand new account. Um, they can just you know, sign in with their Google credentials and get right in there. Um, but it is not, you know, the grade books don't talk to each other and, uh, like they would with another integration. Yes. And the good news is that we are actively working on the Google Classroom integration. We've heard it seems to be very, very popular. So we're working on getting that one. Awesome. Um, any other questions? Great. I do want to add um, that we have a admin access to. Um, that's that's for um, one person um, at your district or your school, but they can have access to um, instructors as well. So um, there's a little bit more control. They can control courses and things like that. So if there's any interest like that at your school, um, we do have that option. And uh, you can take that up with your rep and then with the customer engagement specialist that you're working with too, they can make sure that they're um, the right person has the admin access. Okay. So um, go back to the slide here. I think my slide deck's having some hard time. Zoom hmm. never makes it easy. <laughs> well, let me just try uh, turning my camera off again. Uh, let's see. Okay. So uh, I just want to go over a few things here. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, so just to kind of recap what we just talked about. So our lessons and our quizzes are correlated, um, they're adaptable, and you can really customize them to whatever your learning needs are for your course using the customizability features in Courseware and in the apps as well. Um, students do get access both on their uh, laptops and their mobile devices. If you have a touch screen um, table, this one that you see right here, this is a clear touch table. Um, if you have a smart board or anything like that, it does work with that. So it's great in the classroom um, that for those uses. And like I mentioned, um, it is available in seven different languages. Um, here is some of the content that I just kind of went over. So we do have um, we have a gross anatomy lab, you can see on the top, excuse me, the top left hand corner. So that's where the models lying down on the table. Um, and you can kind of look at it from a different perspective, but we do have all of this content in here. And um, this is some of the content that you would see for um, K-12 majors and biology courses. Um, or excuse me, a K-12 and higher ed non-majors courses. So this is a lot of the uh, biology content. I didn't show the apps, but if there's any interest in that, I can definitely hop in and show you some of the models. We're slowly adding um, or constantly adding more and more models to that app. Like uh, we just met, added our frog app, which we're so excited because that has been a long time coming in. Everyone's been so excited to have that in there. So um, it looks great. Um, and then you can always reach out to um, us. So we're here to help you. We're here to help you with your course creation, answer any questions, make sure that you're comfortable using our platform. Um, and if you need any help uh, reaching out to your admins, you know, trying to ask the right questions, how can we get Visible Body at our school, um, or even need help looking for funding or grants or anything thing like that, we are experienced in that area and we are more than happy to help you connect with the right person or, you know, find the funding and the money that you need to get access um, to courseware here. Um, so we're, we are definitely here for you. Um, through and through. Um, and then just five key takeaways from this little presentation. Um, so student instructor, instructors do see improved student outcomes um, in their grades, especially when the students are very active with the models, they're hands-on, and they're really using it from the beginning of their course to the end of their course. Um, students have reported an increase in understanding. They enjoy the interactivity um, and the accessibility as well. 
Um, so it works on their devices and the available devices in your classrooms. Um, we use our software and curriculum to match the health science and biology programs. And we do meet that first standard for Nishi. So, um, you know, it's a great resource for all those health science courses. Um, and we are the best selling reference in the healthcare professional space. Um, and as somebody who was in exercise science and dreaming of an app like this back in the day, I can tell you firsthand that I totally wish I had this when I was in school. So um, I'm gonna try to X out of this right here. And then I'm gonna hand it over to Jen um, to kind of go over our customer engagement and then we can continue to just answer questions. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen because I can't seem to leave, leave this view, so. Okay. There, can we see my screen now? Yes. Good? Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you so much everyone for being here. Um, I wanted to just kind of go over some kind of high points about our customer engagement and our support teams. As you can see, we're a jolly bunch. <laughs> we're smiling all the time. Um, but the point of this is to show you that um, you know, we are real people behind the scenes who are working individually, oftentimes one-on-one -on -one with people to either solve their technical problems or provide training. And a lot of times this, the training happens over Zoom, um, but if you know, your customer engagement rep and your sales rep is near you, we can also kind of meet you where you are. So um, that also includes um, not just training as you can like today, it would be a quick question that you might have. You could book a quick 15 minute um, Zoom call. You could send an email. Uh, you could send, uh, you could pick up the phone and ask a quick question. Our support is free and it's with you for the extent of your subscription. So that never goes away. Um, so in thinking about the support, site, um, what you should know is that this is what it looks like. Um, here, you can see that this is the URL for it. And what it offers you is a variety of things to try in those moments when you're just not quite sure what to do next. Um, the first thing you can do is you can submit a request through um, our support team. And what that means is a technical support ticket that you can go ahead and submit the information that you need to, the quick description, um, your email address, any attachments that you wanna put in. Uh, we certainly like it when we get screenshots, if that's something that you can provide if, if you're having any technical difficulties. Um, but that's just one of the options on this page. Um, so if we go back to the rest of this, there's a search bar here that will allow you to look up any topic. So an LMS integration, for example, um, you would get a list of results for LMS integrations and all of the articles that we have on that particular topic on and on. So if we go back to this, you can also navigate um, by checking out these FAQ topics in having to do with purchasing or troubleshooting or permissions. Um, and it's nice quick reference if you ever needed it. The visible body product support uh, articles are near and dear to me. I write a lot of them for visible body courseware, but you can see that the topics range from individual apps such as Human Anatomy Atlas 2023 plus or visible biology um, all the way down to our legacy products. But um, for the most part, you'll be looking kind of in this area. Um, so for example, I can show you uh, visible body courseware inside this uh, help center and article central. Um, it's divided up into general information, having how to zoom the models, how to, um, what products are included in courseware, um, how you log in, those sort of basic steps. And then for instructors, we've got a whole catalog here of, of um, articles that kind of walk you through methods for um, setting your students up, helping your students get set up, navigating courseware, um, creating quizzes, editing quizzes, um, using the gradebook and roster, and some troubleshooting. 
here. Then we also have a student section. And if you have a Canvas integration, you have your own section here. Um, so we really do try to make sure that you have all the knowledge you need at your fingertips. Having said that, if you are ever in courseware, for example, um, you always have access to this um, question mark button that also gives you that option to launch the Help Center and to create a ticket like we just looked at. So for example, here's where I would support submit, um, submit that support ticket and I can peruse the articles here to help me with whatever problem I'm facing. Also um, on, on these pages, you'll notice down here in the bottom, there's this chat button. Um, and that when it is um, being staffed with support professionals in the chat, you can have a live chat with someone to help you with anything or if you um, need to leave a message. Um, if, if it says help here, then you can leave a message and someone will get back to you very quickly. Um, our support professionals are extremely responsive and uh, they have access to everybody in the company to ask questions. So everyone from developers to salespeople to customer engagement specialists, um, so they can really um, gather whatever information they need to help you. So um, from there, if you wanted to talk about or explore the opportunity for having customer engagement specialists not only answer your questions, but set up your courses for you, we can do that. Not only do we set up the courses for you, we can go into your account as admins and manage your courses for you. So set up your folders, we can edit um, assignments for you. We can um, publish assignments and make sure that all your students can see them. Um, we can create brand new courses for you all right inside your own account. And once we did that and we were complete, we pull out and then you have a course that's ready and customized for what you need. So that's a feature we wanted to definitely review with you. Um, and then finally, um, training itself is all with um, customer engagement specialists um, or with your reps. Sometimes there's a demo and you can learn a lot there. But if you need to learn more, if you feel like you're a little bit behind the times when it comes to technology, if you feel like you need several different um, sessions at once, we can set that up and we can provide that. Um, we've worked with everybody at all kinds of levels and we're happy to do so. Um, myself and then I have four other colleagues who work in customer engagement. And this is um, a typical, I guess, a signature that I would normally use in my correspondence where you can launch the website. Here's my email address. But what we have here is my calendar. So in this calendar, I can go ahead as the instructor and say, you know what, I think I just need 15 minutes with Jen to see if I can figure out this one problem. So what happens is you click in and you find a day that works for you and a time that works for you, confirm it and give your information and a little bit of a description about what it is you're looking for in this training and then go ahead and press this button and schedule your event. And I'll, I'll see you at that day and time um, and help you through whatever issue you're having. So that's true for all of our customer engagement specialists. We all have that type of training calendar. So does anyone have any questions specifically about support and training? I don't see any in our chat too. So. Okay. And um, yeah, it, it, we kind of pride ourselves on always being available and ready to go when, when you need our help. So it is staffed, uh, the support team is staffed, um, office hours, you know, Eastern Standard Time. And also I believe they have one person on um, on the weekends. So you get in that situation where you need to contact, contact us over the weekend, we, we do have that staffing um, available. And, um, yeah, are there any other general questions? It looks like there's 
One question in the chat. I thought it might be a good time to have um, Lisa Bartle, who back in the day before Visible Body was as cool as it is now, just talk about when she taught in Colorado and how she used it. Can I put you on the spot, Lisa? Sure, why not? <laughs> um, it's been a few years since I have actually had the anatomy and physiology part in my curriculum. Uh, but when I did, I used the Visible Body app. Um, and at that time, it was um, there was a free version that I used. Um, but it was um, great to have on um, all of my students had iPads and um, so they could access them. And then that way um, I could integrate, you know, what the visible body, 3D pictures, and um, it's way cooler now than it was seven or eight years ago, but with all the other additions, but also, you know, mixed, you know, using it with my textbook and Khan Academy and all those things, it's just was just another great way to reinforce um, really what we're looking at, because you just, you know, as we all know, you just don't get a good picture of what's going on by looking at a textbook. Um, so that ability to be able to spin the um, object, whatever body part you were looking at and really get in depth. I mean, if you Oh, I just taught very basic anatomy, um, but if you were an anatomy teacher, there's all kinds of things that, you know, looking at blood vessels and um, all of that too that you could do. So um, it, this looks like an awesome tool. I can't wait to go to school tomorrow and talk to our um, anatomy teachers and tell them to check this out and see if we can't get some district funds or school funds to um, get something going because this is awesome hey and I didn't even she wasn't even a plan she was happy to be here but yeah um, this might be the time for um, Jennifer to mention how you all might could be helpful if giving people the courage to ask for this type of resource yeah, no, absolutely. So kind of like Lissa was saying, um, there's uh, a great way to kind of go about it is to just go and ask your director um, if you have any concerns about that or you're not sure how to ask. Um, we definitely have some um, information and details that you could pass along to them. Uh, what typical, what typically what I come across is when instructors will get a trial and then they say, okay, I just want to show the product to my instructor. They just want to go and show the models. And typically when that happens, um, it's kind of a much easier conversation because um, then when they can see what you're talking about, they're like, oh, okay, I see the value and I know what you're talking, see, you know, what you're asking for here. So um, that's just kind of one, um, I guess, tip that I would say, and one, one approach that I see frequently, but if you're looking for anything about trying to find funding or grant or anything like that, um, we are here to help too. So our reps will definitely reach out to you after this too. You can always contact them. Um, there's a little way to reach that on our website. Um, there's, like a, there's a bunch of little forms throughout the website that you can fill out and we'll have a rep get in touch with you. So, um, and Lissa, I, you, are you still in Florida? Are you in Colorado? Yes, I'm in uh, Palm Harbor, which is north of Clearwater. Yes. Okay. Very nice. I, I work with Florida, so maybe okay. we can at some point too, but it's as easy as that. So you can just get in contact. Yeah, with awesome. Some questions. Yeah. Midwinter, you might want to come down and do a school. Oh, I'm dinner. planning on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like already thinking about it in February. Like, yeah. <laughs> For sure. Well, we had conversations uh, yesterday when we had our pre-conference or our, our pre-webinar call about Perkins funds and how we're so blessed in CTE that we may have a little bit more money than our friends over in academics because we have that federal grant. Mm -hmm. And so um, we encourage our teachers to nudge our administrators to say, I really need this for my program. I want to just give a shout out to Visible Body because you are 
a member of the National Consortium for Health Science Education. You are a member in our publishers and educational resources um, category, and we appreciate your support of our teachers, and we appreciate you coming to our conference recently, and um, we just thank you for providing this um, webinar today, and we know that um, some teachers will really um, benefit from adding this resource to their classroom. Of course, thank you so much for having us. Um, Melissa Church asked about pricing, and I'm, I'm wanting to throw this out here too. Beyond health science, if you're looking for adding students within your school, the, the science could be added to this as well, right? The science students. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So um, we so now with biology, um, it works great for high school biology for sure. Um, and so if you have bio and you have health science, you can combine um, resources together and just kind of get all of, you know, you can get visible body for all of those classes. Um, so when the institution purchases, if you're going and looking to get funding with Perkins funding or, you know, grant or anything like that, we look at bulk pricing. So when a program or a district or you know multiple high schools, um, we come together, we can look at the number of students that would be using courseware. So it's just based on that individual number of students, um, rel you know, relative FTE for the whole year. And then um, we we look at what tier you fall in. And the more tier, more students that you have, um, the less it is per student. So if you have a bio course and a health science course, and then you join together, now it's less per student, you get a, a deal, and then um, we can just help you through implementation. But your rep can definitely talk to you about that. Um, I, I have a quick little anecdote related to that sort of. Um, one of my accounts is Beaufort County School District in South Carolina. And um, the sales rep, Rachel, met um, an instructor from there who teaches sports medicine classes. So it was his very, you know, specialized sort of um, CTE related job um, class. And he used it for a couple of years. And then suddenly one day, Rachel got a call from um, the CTE director um, for the whole district saying that they were ready to roll it out to all of their CTE courses. And they also wanted to roll in the biology uh, resources that we had, and it's become like one of our biggest um, clients. It, it's it's really pretty amazing. So sometimes all you have to do is ask, <laughs> and it can really spread like wildfire. And that yes, that's so true. Um, I think that's how it started with Miami Dade County in Florida too. They've been using courseware for a few years now. Um, and then I saw Lynn asked how she can get a trial. Um, so I, I believe um, we have, we'll, we'll have an email address, but if you wanna put that in there um, in your chat too, we can do that. I know that um, Rachel works with South Carolina. I just went back up and checked which state you were from Lynn. So we can just um, directly have Rachel send you a trial. There's also a question from um, um, Delix about the stylus. Do you see that one? Uh, oh. Underneath, um, Melissa asked about pricing, and then Mr. Lynn asked about um, okay. working with a stylus. Do you see it? Yeah. Are you referring to a stylus with an iPad? You can unmute um, yourself, my friend, if you want to. Oh, I have a question. But, uh, I got 16 Z space here, but uh, I couldn't get the pen or the stylus to work. I show you the classroom. I got oh, Z yes. space, but uh, I couldn't get uh, the, all the pens to work. Yeah, so what you'll need to do is reach out to your Z space rep for that one. Um, we work mostly with Courseware, but if you do Z Space and Courseware, we do work together with them, but you'll need to contact them. Directly. Oh, okay. Yeah, we just got the uh, visual body this year. Oh, but great. They, yeah, well, all Very the students cool. has, has, has it, but uh, we can not get some of the, the equipment to work. Oh, yeah, I would reach out to them and they can help you. Oh, okay. I've, I've only you. played with it a few times. It's very cool, though. <laughs> okay, thank you. 
Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, Mr. Lamb, where are you from? Uh, we're from Las Vegas, uh, uh, the, uh, one of the magnet school here. We, yeah, we're really fortunate to have all the, all the equipment. So you have all the money? Yeah, I look, uh, this is my classroom. It's not very many I uh, have. Them. This is my classroom. We have a uh, 16 V space right here. Was all, yeah. Is if, that from all the people this. gambling in your state? <laughs> yeah, the classroom was really big <laughs> in there. Thank you for showing us that. Okay, thank you. Okay, we have about two more minutes. Any more questions for our wonderful presenters, Desiree and Jennifer? Okay, I'm gonna...